Okay, quick question. Quick question before we start. How do we feel about the hair? Hey everybody, what is up? It is your favorite health and beauty professional, Kiki Carr. Welcome to Makeup the First Skincare, a series in which I teach women of color how to treat their dark spots and acne at home. So if that is something that you're interested in, be sure to stay tuned. So for those of you who are new here, as I stated, my name is Kiki Carr. I am a licensed esthetician, a cosmetic formulator, and a mega scientist. Yes, I hold a whole bunch of scientific degrees, but none of that qualifies me to talk about the subject of acne more than actually having the condition myself. So it is my goal to bring to you everything that I do and everything that I use to keep my own skin clear. And hopefully it'll help you too. So in today's video, we are doing nudes. Yes, baby, send me some nudes, okay? <laughs> Actually, don't. Please don't, okay? But we're doing nude lipsticks, the best nude lipsticks that MAC has to offer for dark skin, brown girl friendly, okay? But we're gonna start with the skincare first per usual so this is actually the only product that i want to talk to you about today i do want to talk to you about the product i talked to you about in the last video i put it against my skin the um glow recipe by um i mean the watermelon wait what is it called the watermelon glow dew drops look nobody told me to put that on top of my makeup look at how i'm looking okay like I love that stuff under the makeup and on top of the makeup. It it just, oh, it's a staple from this moment on. And you're going to see going forward. Like, I'm going to be using that thing in every makeup video. You finna see because I just look at my skin. Look at how I look. I look like I woke up like this. Okay, but anyway, this right here is the start of today's show, okay? This is the Philosophy purity pore extractor clay mask now i bought this because it contains a bha the only bha that exists salicylic acid and i bought it as a spot treatment and i have to say uh, adore okay because it is a clay mask with a little bit of bha mixed in it it's not really stingy, which I absolutely love. I spot treat with it. I put it on like bumps that are coming and it has been working divinely. And I really love the fact that when I go to wash it off, it turns into a little mini scrub as well. So you can get some like exfoliation in. Love, love, love this. Um, I, I don't use this all over my face. It may look like it comes in a small tube, but always remember with masks, you are supposed to spread them very thin. So this is a, actually a lot. Like if you think about how many uses that you will get out of this by spreading it thin, it's actually a lot and I'm sure that I'm gonna have this baby for a very long time because like I said I'm just using it as a spot treatment so 10 out of 10 recommend I endorse this but yes let's get on to the makeup okay so I wanted to start with the it's called lady be good by Mac it's a retro matte but girl I mean, I was just on the site the other day and this is already gone, but I'm still gonna put it on for you. Cause I wanna put it on, it's so pretty. Look at that. <laughs> I'm sad you can't get this. I'm so sad for you, cause this is gorgeous. Okay, so the next one is Myth Bestseller. Yeah. 
And the next one is a straight up favorite of mine. I absolutely love this lip. This is called World, a beautiful dusty rose. Oh my gosh, wait till you see it on. It's so stunning. Okay, and the next lipstick I have is, oh my God, it is so popular. Everyone wants to know how Miss Angel looks on dark skin. So I'm about to show you. Baby doll pink, okay, absolutely stunning, okay? The next lip is Dangerous Curves. Okay, this is, I would have to say, my favorite nude gloss probably of all time. Okay, I just, I just love it. Beautiful. Gold undertone. Oh, let, let me just show you. Look at that. Do you now see and understand what I mean? Okay, so now let's go ahead and go in with an oldie but goodie. This is a classic. This is a throwback. I think everybody knows about Miss Spite Girl, okay? Um, she's so pretty. So, like, the last one was, like, golden undertones. This one is definitely more pink. And this one, I feel it pairs so well with the world. So you guys, tell me something. Which lip is your favorite so far? Was it, is it like the gloss? Is it like the matte? Like, tell me what you guys think, okay? And are you rocking these pouty and poofed out like I wear them, or are you putting a lip liner with them? Let me know in the comments below. I have made a video on that technique on how to kind of like pout your um, lips out, your nude lips, so that you don't have to wear a liner with it because I don't wear a liner with my nude lips. I just do that technique. The video is so old, but it's still relevant. It's still a great technique that I use to this very day, so I'll link it below. And I'm also going to put in the description box my website so that you guys can go and sign up for my weekly newsletter if you have not already. Over there, we keep it real cute with dark skin makeup, skincare, and fashion and you receive exclusive content straight in your inbox like this video if you liked it be sure to give it a really big thumbs up i really would appreciate it it really helps out the channel also subscribe to this channel if you would like more makeup and skincare tips and if you know someone else who could possibly use the skincare tips please share this video with them and i'll be sure to see you on the next one. Mwah!